In this video, we are going to solve problem 2-35 from RC Baller Engineering Statics 12th edition. The problem says, the contact point between the femur and tibia bones of the leg is at A. If a vertical force of 175 LB is applied at this point, determine the components along the X and Y axis. Note that the Y component represents the normal force on the load bearing region of the bones. Both the X and Y components of this force cause synovial fluid to be squeezed out of the bearing space. To solve this problem, first of all, you have to draw some straight lines. Let's call this as x prime, y prime. Now we can find this angle. Let's call this theta by considering this 5, 12, and 13 triangle for theta sine theta equals 5 over 13 theta equals 22.62 degrees here this angle is also theta why both these angles are equal for this let's assume a condition that we have uh, we have two perpendicular axes and if i draw another one on top of it like this and rotate it now what we can observe is this angle is 90 degrees also this angle is 90 degrees. This is x, y, x prime, y prime, x, y. Since the angle made between x prime and y prime axis is 90 degrees, also the angle formed between x and y axis is 90 degrees. So the deviation of y prime and y equals to x prime and x that's why these two angles are equal these two angles now let's get back to our question now I can take this force into two components along x and y axis I can also extend this components backwards this one is parallel to x axis and this one is parallel to y-axis let's call this fx fy or fx fx equals f sine theta f equals 175 lbs sine 22.62 degrees equals 67.3 lbs or fy fy equals f cos 
theta f equals 175 lbs cos 22.62 degrees fy equals negative 161.54 lbs and this is our answer i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please feel free to subscribe this channel for new updates and also turn on the bell icon for daily updates thank you